It's been a presidential retreat for more than 70 years. Lots of history has been made there. But could Camp David in Maryland become a costly white elephant under President Trump? John Keller is here with the first in an occasional series of reports on public resources that are unused or misused. And John, President Trump isn't really the first president who didn't find Camp David the greatest place to go. No, Paul, he certainly isn't. For instance, President Kennedy preferred to visit family home, homes in Hyannisport, of course, and just like the Trumps in Palm Beach. But when you consider the cost of maintaining a Camp David that our current president apparently has no use for, you got to say to yourself, what a waste. Air Force One, carrying the president from Washington to his Palm Beach estate for the weekend. An already routine site that carries an eye-popping price tag. If he's going down there every weekend, the costs are going to add up pretty quickly. Try an estimated $10 million for three weekend trips in his first five weeks in office, including more than seven hundred grand for the round-trip flights on Air Force One. He doesn't need to go to Florida every weekend. He can work at the White House or up at Camp David. Ah, yes, Camp David, just a short, relatively inexpensive chopper ride from the White House. Since 1942, it's been a private, secure retreat for presidents and their families, for respite and recreation, and for the conduct of important business. The landmark 1978 peace deal between Egypt and Israel was brokered there, with their leaders' claustrophobia reportedly a motivating factor. Beside the beautiful setting, there's plenty to do at Camp David, but it is apparently not the new president's cup of tea. Last month, he was quoted as saying, Camp David is very rustic. It's nice. You'd like it. You know how long you'd like it? For about 30 minutes. But Trump's preference for the opulence of Mar-a-Lago means the estimated 8 to $10 million per year it costs to keep Camp David ready and waiting for presidential use may essentially go to waste. Now, one major Camp David drawback from Trump's perspective, no golf course. Have you seen a federal, state, or local use of your tax dollars that makes you shake your head and think, what a waste? Drop me a line with the details and I'll look into it. You can reach me at Keller at WBZTV.com. Paula? I think you're going to get a few messages, John. Thanks. <laughs>